Hey everyone, uh, <laughs> the Unpro Pro here, and this is actually my second video, and I'm actually going to go ahead and start um, a YouTube series of Game Editor. Uh, game Editor is an open source and free to use game engine for uh, three systems, uh, Mac, Linux, and Windows, and it, it enables you to make video games for Mac, Windows, Linux, uh, iPhone, iPad, GP2X, smartphones, you name it, you got it. Um, all there, I believe there's an Android port as well coming soon. I don't, I'm not too sure on that, but uh, anyway, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Um, and I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna explain everything all at once. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna explain things as I go. And right here, I have a Notepad file, which uh, this is my little practice recording stuff. Not really important. Okay, so we're going to make a player, and we're going to make him able to move. So click Add Actor. This is going to be about movement. And name him Player, capital P, if you want. If you want to do the same thing I am. And you're probably wondering where this is. Um, in the Game Editor folder, after you've downloaded it with the link in the description, you can go to Tutorials, and then Data. And that's where you'll find all this stuff. Add Character Left. Make the frame rate 12. Oops, was that 13? That's 23. <laughs> make the frame rate 12. Then add another animation, character right, make the frame rate 12. Then add the character stop left and character stop right. Okay, now uh, you click game start and you can't do nothing. So now we're going to change that. We're going to make it to where you can do something. Okay, uh, over here in the events area, go to add, draw actor, and then where it says add action go to script editor now I'm actually gonna write this script and get it so you can see everything that goes on alright so what we're gonna type is char here let me go ahead and set the uh, the programming language to C as well char which is a character variable or a text variable key equals get key state oops I forgot to put an asterisk char star key yeah Character star key equals get key state. Now this creates a variable named key, and it gets the key state. So it gets it returns if you're pressing a key or not, um, and how you use that is well like this. Okay, well int dir equals key, and then in between little half square things. I don't know what you call them, but key right minus key, and in between that again key left now this means okay this returns where all right uh, key if right is pressed then the variable named dir or dir standing for direction um, it'll equal one if if you if you press the left key it'll equal negative one and if you're not pressing any of them or you press both it equals zero so now we're gonna add a switch statement I'm actually gonna bracket these in there we go. Or uh, space, not bracket. <laughs> Jeez. Now we're gonna check and see. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna check the key, and then if it's pressed, we're gonna make it do an action. So switch dir, um, and what that does is it creates a switch. Um, a switch is where you know you can say if the dir is equal. To, for example, case zero would mean if it's equal to zero case 12 would mean if it's equal to 12 you know so right now I'll do case zero and then add another indention there um, this means if it's zero okay if anim index equals zero and zero is walk left here I'll show you how you figure that out um, see all the okay see the animations here left right stop left stop right that's zero one two three uh... It, you know you start with the top and it, it just counts up and higher and it starts with zero so um... and, and here we have if anim index is equal to zero which means if the character is going right or i mean left i'm sorry okay yeah if the character is going left then oops if the character is going left then i'm actually going to copy animation here uh, how to do what I'm talking about is I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna 
you don't have to do this but I'm just typing it in get it so you can see how it's done but uh, you do have to do this though the change animation thing I'll show you how you get there in a second um, okay I'll go ahead and show you okay go to variables and functions and then go to change animation and uh, change to where it says character stop left you're gonna be doing all this in this editor not in well you can do it and get it if you want uh, but anyway and then make sure this is set to no change so that's this is the output of that so I'm, I'm copy that and I'm delete that and there you go that's how it's gonna look and um, else meaning if it's anything different paste that again and stop right since we don't have any other animations we don't have to worry about um, uh, any other advanced code and then you want to type break now uh, this ends off the case zero so now underneath that we can do case one which is wait I'm gonna do left first case negative one and you see the slashes there this uh, these are comments none or both and uh, negative one is left so if the character is press or if the player is pressing the left key um, you do this x minus equals five and change animation and then character left then you end that off by typing break okay um, and then case one right x plus equals five I know this looks confusing but it's actually not really it's it's quite easy really okay so end that off and then uh, change character stop left to character right or char right so you can see copy all this and then paste it into there but you're probably gonna already have it in here so okay and then add and now play test it okay uh, I made a little mistake here okay I know exactly what I made okay else if anim index is equal to one which means if he's going right okay so redo that <laughs> well not redo it but just edit it like I did okay what in the world's going on it's like not clicking right there we go repaste that else if anim index equals one now it should work yep there we go that's all we needed to do so now your character is walking and there are no bugs in the walking which is exactly why there's you know it called for this because this uh, this eliminates a common beginner in game editor bug which is the moonwalk it's kinda hard to explain actually I'll go ahead and show you exactly what the moonwalk is now that you know how to do that I'll, I'll show you what the uh, moonwalk is the moonwalk is this see how he's like walking in place and then he just like slides backwards well this uh, this fixes that so see watch if I do this if I remove all of his stuff actually I don't know if I'm probably over time Alright guys, uh, see you later, but that's been the first episode. Bye.